225. I'm wife. I finished that. That other state. I'm czar. I'm woman now. It's safer so. How odd the girl's life looks behind this soft eclipse. I think that earth feels so to folks in heaven now. This being comfort, then, that other kind, was pain. But why compare? I'm wife. Stop there. 226. I stole them from a bee because thee, sweet plea, he pardoned me. 227. Two swimmers wrestled on the spar until the morning sun, when one turned smiling to the land. Oh, God, the other one. The stray ships passing, spied a face, upon the waters born, with eyes in death, still begging raised, and hands beseeching thrown. 228. My eye is fuller than my vase, her cargo is of dew, and still my heart, my eye outweighs East India for you. 229. Musicians wrestle everywhere, all day among the crowded air. I hear the silver strife, and, waking, long before the morn, such transport breaks upon the town, I think it that new life. It is not bird, it has no nest, nor band in brass and scarlet dressed, nor tambourine, nor man. It is not him from pulpit red, the morning stars, the treble led on time's first afternoon. Some say it is the spheres at play. Some say that bright majority of vanished dames and men. Some think it's service in the place where we with late celestial face please God shall ascertain. 230. For this accepted breath, through it compete with death. The fellow cannot touch this crown, by it my title take. Ah, what a royal sake to my necessity stoop down. No wilderness can be where this attendeth me. No desert noon, no fear of frost to come, haunt the perennial bloom, but certain June. Get Gabriel to tell the royal syllable, get saints with new unsteady tongue, to say what trance below, most like their glory show, fittest the crown. 231. We don't cry, Tim and I. We are far too grand, but we bolt the door tight to prevent a friend. Then we hide our brave face deep in our hand, not to cry, Tim and I. We are far too grand. Nor to dream, he and me, do we condescend. We just shut our brown eye to see to the end. Tim see cottages, but oh so high. Then we shake, Tim and I, and lest I cry. Tim reads a little hymn, and we both pray. Please, sir, I and Tim always lost the way. We must die by and by, clergymen say. Tim shall if I do, I too if he. How shall we arrange it? Tim was so shy. Take us simultaneous, Lord, I, Tim, and me. 232. He forgot, and I remembered. T'was an everyday affair, long ago as Christ and Peter warmed them at the temple fire. Thou wert with him, quoth the damsel. No, said Peter, t'wasn't me. Jesus merely looked at Peter. 
could I do aught else to thee? 233. A slash of blue, a sweep of gray, some scarlet patches on the way, compose an evening sky. A little purple slipped between, some ruby trousers, hurried on, a wave of gold, a bank of day. This just makes out the morning sky. 234. I should not dare to leave my friend, because, because if he should die, while I was gone and I too late, should reach the heart that wanted me. If I should disappoint the eyes that hunted, hunted so to see, and could not bear to shut until they noticed me, they noticed me. If I should stab the patient faith, so sure I'd come, so sure I'd come. It listening, listening, went to sleep, telling my tardy name. My heart would wish it broke before, since breaking then, since breaking then, were useless as next morning sun, where midnight frosts had lain. 235. The flower must not blame the bee that seeketh his felicity too often at her door, but teach the footman from Vevey mistress is not at home to say to people any more. 236. Some keep the Sabbath going to church. I keep it staying at home with a bobolink for a chorister and an orchard for a dome. Some keep the Sabbath in surplus. I just wear my wings, and instead of tolling the bell for church, our little sexton sings. God preaches a noted clergyman, and the sermon is never long. So instead of getting to heaven at last, I'm going all along. 237. What shall I do? It whimpers so, this little hound within the heart, all day and night, with bark and start, and yet it will not go? Would you untie it, were you me? Would it stop whining, if to thee I sent it, even now? It should not tease you by your chair, or on the mat, or if it dare, to climb your dizzy knee, or sometimes at your side to run, when you are willing, may it come. Tell Carlo, he'll tell me. 238. How many times these low feet staggered, only the soldered mouth can tell. Try, can you stir the awful rivet? Try, can you lift the hasps of steel? Stroke the cool forehead, hot so often. Lift, if you care, the listless hair. Handle the adamantine fingers, never a thimble more shall wear. Buzz the dull flies on the chamber window. Brave shines the sun through the freckled pane. Fearless, the cobweb swings from the ceiling. Indolent housewife in daisies lane. 239. Make me a picture of the sun, so I can hang it in my room, and make believe I'm getting warm when others call it day. Draw me a robin on a stem, so I am hearing him, I'll dream. And when the orchards stop their tune, put my pretense away. Say if it's really warm at noon, whether it's buttercups that skim, or butterflies that bloom, then skip the frost upon the lee, and skip the russet on the tree. Let's play those, never come. 240. Bound a trouble, and lives will bear it. Circumscription enables woe. Still to anticipate were no limit. Who were sufficient to misery? State it to the ages, to a cipher, and it will ache contented on. 
sing at its pain as any workman, notching the fall of the even sun. 241. What is paradise? Who live there? Are they farmers? Do they hoe? Do they know that this is Amherst, and that I am coming too? Do they wear new shoes in Eden? Is it always pleasant there? Won't they scold us when we're hungry, or tell God how cross we are? You are sure there's such a person as a father in the sky. So if I get lost there ever, or do what the nurse calls die, I shan't walk the jasper barefoot. Ransomed folks won't laugh at me. Maybe Eden ain't so lonesome as New England used to be. 242. It is easy to work when the soul is at play, but when the soul is in pain, the hearing him put his playthings up makes work difficult then. It is simple to ache in the bone or the rind, but gimblets among the nerve mangle, daintier, terribler, like a panther in the glove. 243. That after horror, that twas us, that passed the moldering pier, just as the granite crumb let go, our Savior by a hair, a second more had dropped too deep for fishermen to plumb. The very profile of the thought puts recollection numb. The possibility to pass without a moment's bell into conjecture's presence is like a face of steel that suddenly looks into ours with a metallic grin, the cordiality of death who drills his welcome in. 244. We, B and I, live by the quaffing. Tisn't all hock with us. Life has its ale, but its many a lay of the dim burgundy. We chant for cheer when the wines fail. Do we get drunk? Ask the jolly clovers. Do we beat our wife? I never wed. B pledges his in minute flagons, dainty as the trees, on her deft head. While runs the Rhine, he and I revel, first at the vat and latest at the vine. Noon, our last cup, found dead of nectar by a humming coroner in a by time. 245. God permits industrious angels afternoons to play. I met one, forgot my schoolmates, all for him straightway. God calls home the angels promptly at the setting sun. I missed mine, how dreary marbles, after playing crown. 246. The sun just touched the morning the morning, happy thing. Suppose that he had come to dwell, and life would all be spring. She felt herself supremer, a raised, ethereal thing. Henceforth for her, what holiday? Meanwhile, her wheeling king trailed slow along the orchards, his haughty, spangled hems, leaving a new necessity the want of diadems. The morning fluttered, staggered, felt feebly for her crown. Her unanointed forehead, henceforth her only one. 